Hey guys, this is Pokemon Bloody Platinum video number 15, and uh, and between this video and the last video, I did some grinding, and the first level up Riolu made, he evolved into Lucario. So uh, Dan is finally a Lucario. I I figured I should show that to you guys at the beginning of this video, but uh, yeah, that happened while I was grinding. I always record my grinding, my off-screen training. Just in case, you know, something like that happens, like when I ran into that Lugia before, or, you know, I had a big evolution like that. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, I evolved, or I uh, leveled up my Pokemon all up to level 35, which I think should be enough. So, um, we'll see how it goes. Um, Cyclops Ryan sent out a Pineco, level 33. I'm sending in Norbert, level 35. So, yeah, I think I think it's helping already that I uh, leveled everyone up. How is everyone doing? How was their weekend? I d I know I didn't get around to um, uploading one of these yesterday, and that's because I didn't have any ready to upload. You can tell by the fact that I'm actually recording this on the day that I uh, am uploading it. Today is what, the 30th of October? Tomorrow's Halloween, guys. What are you guys going to be for Halloween? That's the question of this video. What are you guys going to be for Halloween, if you are going to be anything? I'm not going to be anything for Halloween. I haven't I haven't done Halloween. I think the last time I like actually celebrated Halloween, I was in the fourth grade, I think, which was a long time ago for me. So, I never got to be a Pokemon for Halloween, guys. Because it was in the fourth grade that I discovered Pokemon. I think, what was I? I was probably a Power Ranger. That, that was usually like my go-to costume. Like, you remember how the Power Rangers, like, oh, you had the, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and then you had like, oh, the Power Rangers Ninja, and then you went to Zeo. Like, every year, like, I was a different, like, whatever that, like, year's Power Ranger was, I was that Power Ranger. And uh, I quit doing the Power Rangers thing when they did the when they did the uh, Turbo, which I think was that year. So, <laughs> anyway, I know that was kind of random, but yeah, that's what I was for Halloween. So, the last time I celebrated Halloween, I was in the fourth grade. I was a Power Ranger, so I kind of answered the question. So, let me amend the question. If you're, what are you going to be for Halloween? And if you're not going to be anything for Halloween, what were you the last time you were something for Halloween? That's the question of uh, this video. So we uh, defeated that person pretty easily. And now we're going to battle cyclist Kayla, and she has an Azuril. Azuril. Yeah, um, I know some of you are probably watching my... Uh, Bloody Platinum, not Bloody Platinum, of course you're watching my Bloody Platinum videos. If you're watching this, you're watching Bloody Platinum. What the hell am I saying? I know some of you are probably watching my uh, Volt White 2 LP. I also didn't upload one of those yesterday because I didn't have any ready. And uh, I, the only thing I uploaded yesterday was a Storm Silver video. And uh, that was the last one I had. So to like as of today, I have like no videos like like ready to upload. So I'm having to like like narrate a bunch of videos today because I think I'll be able to make some today and maybe tomorrow and that's gonna have to get me through like to this time next week so and that's for all three LPs because I'm really I'm really 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 trying to upload one video a day from each LP which is kinda tough because I have three going on right now um if uh if worse comes to worse what I may end up doing is still uploading a Volt White 2 video every day and then alternating between this one and Storm Silver, doing one every other day. So I do a Bloody Platinum every other day and then the days I don't do Bloody Platinum I'll do Storm Silver. But I do want to do the Volt White 2 every day just because that's kind of the new game right now and that's the one that like everyone's kind of like been waiting for and wanting to watch. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm really gonna try though to get one of each up every day. 
Oh, and I got a flag for my bike. And it put it in the fashion case. But apparently it's on my bike, not on the fashion case. Because look. And I can just dismount my bike right there. Ooh, a raspberry. Ooh, another raspberry. Any of you guys planting berries around? I'm not planting any berries. Like, any berries, I find I'm just keeping them. I don't know if I've ever, if I've even actually, like, used any berries in this game. Okay, so we're gonna go down here underneath Cycling Road now, because... Um... Ooh, a PP up. Because there's some trainers down here. I'm not gonna, you know, catch any Pokemon down here, obviously, because I already have my team. Um... So I'll use a repel to repel any would-be wild Pokemon that might jump out at me. Like, oh, wild Pokemon jump out at me! Ooh, a burn heal. Ooh, there's a guy. What's up, guy? Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 because one is like, uh, like there's one that you can see and the other one is like underneath the road, so you can't see it. I completely forgot about that. Even though I talked to him twice, I must have like not read what he said because I, I, I just found the one that, uh, you can see. So that's a nice hint he just gave us. See, that's the thing. You really don't need, like, a, uh, a guide to get through these games. Just as long as you talk to everyone and, like, you go everywhere. You'll eventually, you know, get what you need and get to where you need to go. I guess the guide just kind of helps you go quicker. Anyway, he sends out a Lyron, level 35. So I'm gonna have Norbert use Ember, which didn't do very much. Um, he get ooh Foxy, nice. Foxy will use oh Lyron's gonna use Protect. Lyron protected itself. Foxy used Flamethrower. Hopefully, maybe this will be a one-hit KO because if it isn't, he can use a Rock type move and kill Foxy, or he just uses Roar, whatever. And he sends out Bzzt. So I think I'll have Bzzt use Bubble Beam. He's gonna use a Hyper Potion, but that's okay. Hey, super effective. Norbert, Foxy, and Bzzzt all got experience right there. Next is Relicanth. That is a water slash rock type. So, um, Turtwig would actually do really good there. So that's how I'm gonna send in Turtwig. Ooh, that almost got him to level 36. Oh, and he evolves at level 36, too, so... He's almost to evolving stage. He'll probably evolve in this video. Into Sceptile! Nah. Your Turtwig evolved into Sceptile. And then it'll his name will still be Turtwig, like when I send him out to battle. Go, Turtwig! A Poison Barb. Oh, see, here's a little cave. And I think, like I said, the other cave is, uh, like, underneath the, uh, the bridge, so you can't really see it. But anyway, I'm not going to explore that cave, because, uh, yeah, I, I just, I just don't want to. I will put in the description what Pokemon you can find in there. So, just in case you want to go in there and catch some Pokemon, you can do that. But there's really nothing to do in that cave. I mean, there really isn't, to be honest. Uh, we'll slide down that little mud thingy, and this looks familiar. Oh my god, we're back in Orberg City. How about that? How about that, guys? We're back in Orberg City. That is kind of 
awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I love Orberg City. Don't you guys love Orberg City? It's like, what are you doing? I'm in Orberg City, guys. Oh, I'm jealous. Okay. Uh, we need to go up that little thing, but you can only do it on a bike. That's why we didn't do it before. Because you gotta do it on a bike. Let's see what's down here. This looks this looks shady. Oh, there's a dude, and he just saw me. I wear shorts all year. Youngster Austin sends out a Magby. Level 34. Go Norbert. I'm not sure what level Norbert evolves at. It's probably level 50 or 55 or something like that. I'm sure it's pretty up there. Oh, great. Now Magby's going to use Confuse Ray and get Norbert all confused. Yeah, of course, it hurts himself in the confusion. Norbert actually does more damage to himself in the confusion than the fire spin does to him. That was a critical hit. I need him to learn Outrage or Dragon Claw or some like physical dragon move because Norbert's a physical attacker. And he's up to level 36. Now, youngster Austin's going to send in Magmar, so I'm going to get him out of there and send in Bzzzd. So what will Bzzzd do? Magmar use Confuse Ray. Great. Hmm. Bubble Beam. I'll tell you what, those Magmars are tough. I need to I need to use one one of these days in an LP. I really do. One of these days, guys, alright? I don't know when, I don't know what game, what LP, I'm going to do it, it's going to have to be Gen 4 or later, but I'm going to use a Magmar and an LP. I don't know what LP it'll be now that I think about it, because I've already done Storm Silver and Spirit Gold. I'm doing this one now, and I've done Blaze Black and I'm doing Volt White 2 now. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've done I've done a lot of all of my LPs except for Fire Red have been Gen 4 plus. My next one probably needs to be like a an older one just to kind of change things up a bit. I don't know. Anyway, Hiker Kevin is now going to send in a Lunatone. Which is a rock slash psychic, just like Soul Rock. Except Lunatone is the moon and Soul Rock is the sun. Alright, Norbert, switch out, come back. Go, Turtwig! I'll bet ya. I'll bet ya that Turtwig, if Turtwig can knock this thing out, he'll get up to level 36 and evolve. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Super effect. Oh. I really thought that Turtwig could destroyed it just then. Alright, absorb. Yeah. 1125, that's pretty good. But you know, experience doesn't go as, as, as far as it used to. Oh, Turtwig's evolving, guys. This is awesome. Look, watch. Watch. Look, look, look. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? Oh! Congratulations! Your Turtwig evolved into Sceptile! See, I told you guys it was going to happen in this video. I told you guys. You didn't believe me. So, here's to all you haters out there who didn't believe me. Um, Since Turtwig and Norbert are both at level 36, I'll put them at the back of the party and get Sabrina up front. I believe Sabrina evolves at level... 38 in this hack because typically you have to trade Kadabra to like someone else to evolve it but 
you know, in these in most of these hacks, the those like evolutions that happen by trade have been altered so that you don't have to trade. So I think that Sabrina will evolve into Alakazam at level 38, I think. Don't quote me on that, guys, cuz I don't know for sure, but I think that's how it works in this game, level 38. And as long as she keeps battling these like prime apes and machokes, she should get there pretty quickly. So let's see here. Um, who all? Let's see. Uh, has evolved all the way. Uh, Turtwig's evolved all the way now. Sabrina is close to having evolved all the way. Dan has evolved all the way. Who else do I have? Oh, I have Norbert and Foxy, who were both probably a ways away from evolving. Like I said, I need to wait to, you know, get that Firestone. One of y'all, uh, um said that I could go underground and get a firestone there which you know to be honest I never thought of and um, I, I might do that if uh, if I like get desperate but because Foxy is kind of getting to the point now when, when Foxy learned flamethrower Foxy became like pretty pretty legit but as Foxy levels up and I start battling stronger opponents Foxy isn't really being as effective as I would like for her to be, but I, I think once I evolve her into Nine Tails, that she will. But um, until it starts becoming an issue, I'm just going to stick to getting that fourth gym badge, getting Surf, and then going back and uh, you know going back to the Fuego Ironworks and getting that Firestone. Anyway, Bzzit is using Bubble Beam on this Torkoal, and yeah, that's enough to take it out. A uh, Super Potion. And let's see, we've got two trainers here. I'm going to battle them one at a time, because... It's just easier that way. Um, oh, Sableye. Like, there's like the one, well, actually two Pokemon that Sabrina... No, actually there's a lot of Pokemon. Like, every dark Pokemon out there, Sabrina can't do anything against. So I'll bring her back and I'll send in Foxy. Just to see what Foxy can do. Uh, Sableye's going to use Faint Attack, which does... Wow, does quite a bit, actually. Uh, let's see what Flamethrower does. And that'll kill Foxy. Oh, it didn't. Wow. Oh, but that will. All right. Well, maybe I, I, <laughs> maybe I should get that Firestone a little bit sooner. Um, I'll send Biz back in, even though he's burned. Yeah, dead Sableye. Sableye was always one of my go-to Pokemon whenever I played Pokemon Emerald. Next is Maywile. Um, yeah, Foxy would have been ideal to battle that Maywile, but since I don't have Foxy, I'm going to send in Dan. And uh, maybe Dan can, like, force palm this thing. Oh, he sure can. Oh, but Maywile lived. Use Vice Grip. Oh, we lost. Let's see here. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, do do do. Burn heal on boot. And let's see. Do I have a revive? Yeah, I have two revives. I don't know if I want to use a revive on Foxy though, because I can't buy him yet. Do it, my Pokemon. I'll work hard too. We we're challenged by Picnic or Lauren. And she sent out Bronzor. Go, Sabrina! And Sabrina's like, oh, Sabrina! Uh, Sabrina used Psybeam on this Bronzor, even though it's not going to be effective at all. Um, hmm. Again, this is where it'd be really nice to have Foxy. 
I should have just revived Foxy. Psst, uh, this Bubble Beam should be able to do well. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably another Bubble Beam will do it. Or maybe not, okay. Uh, he's gonna use extra sensory again. Foxy takes it with, uh, he could probably actually take another extra sensory, really, to be honest. Probably even with like 7 HP. The Bronzor fainted in Sabrina. Grid level 36. And wants to learn roleplay. Which, let's see. I think roleplay, I think what it does, I think. I could be wrong, but I think what it does is basically just copy like all the stats of the opposing Pokemon. Or maybe it's all the stat changes. Anyway, next she's going to send in Bronzong, which is the evolved form of Bronzor, so let's see what Bizz can do. we we'll use Bubble Beam. Um, yeah, that'll probably kill Bzz. Yeah, I should have known. Let's see, who do I have left? Uh, Foxy and Bzz are both dead. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's got to be Dan. I mean... But you know what? Now that he's steel type, though, extra sensory will just be neutral. So that's kind of awesome. Dan is a, a fighting type, but uh, not uh, really weak to the psychic attacks. All right, so we defeated Picnic or Lauren. She goes, "Oh, we lost." All right. Oh, uh, do 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 do. Nothing else back here. I should run back to Orberg City and heal my Pokemon. I should. Uh-oh. Um. Ooh! Oh! I think, I think she'll give you that no matter what hand you choose. Oh, but I love... Yeah. The Versus Seeker. The, ver the, the Versus Seeker might be, like, one of my favorite key items of all time. Just because, like, it w when you go when you go to do training, like, in pretty much any other game, you have to just go and battle wild Pokemon, and that can take forever. But the Versus Seeker, you can go and, like, stand in an area where there's trainers, and when you use the Versus Seeker, it'll, like, like put a thing above their head. Like, if, they're, if they want to battle, and you can go and battle trainers that you've already battled, which is really awesome. So it's a great way to train, and I'll see you guys next time.